Welcome to Nairobi News Hub, your go-to destination for in-depth sports analysis with a special focus on soccer. I'm your host, Johnson Freeman, here to break down the latest matches and player performances. We also have you covered with expert insights, detailed breakdowns, and engaging discussions. Let's dive into the world of soccer together. Eric Ten Hag buys time at Manchester United, but critical weeks ahead will define his future. Pressure eases after goalless draw. Manchester United's goalless draw with Aston Villa may not have been a thrilling result, but it was a crucial one for Eric Ten Hag. According to football pundit Gary Neville, this result has bought Ten Hag more time as the team battles through their worst-ever Premier League start. Despite having only won three matches in their first ten, the stalemate temporarily keeps the Wolves at bay for the Dutchman. The match saw United collect their eighth point from a possible 21, cementing their dismal start to the season. Speaking after the game, Neville said that, given the team's current form, a draw against Unai Emery's Villa side would have been a result anyone in the United camp would have accepted before kickoff. It's a small step forward, Neville said. If you offered any Man United fan or player a draw before the game, they would have taken it. That tells you how far Villa have come, but also how low the bar is for United right now. Tenuous job security for Tin Hag. While the result might offer Tin Hag some breathing room, Neville was quick to highlight that this relief is only temporary. The next few weeks are pivotal in deciding whether the Manchester United manager will keep his job. With the team struggling in 13th place, their performance between now and the next international break in November will be closely scrutinized. Manchester United's minority owner, Sir Jim Ratcliffe, was in attendance at Villa Park, along with other key figures from Ineos and the club's hierarchy. The group, which opted to keep Tin Hag in charge over the summer, is under pressure to see improvement. Neville believes the club does not want to make any rash decisions, but if United's poor form continues, the board may have no choice. They don't want to sack Tin Hag mid-season, Neville said. But if United are still languishing in the bottom half come November, that decision could be forced. Ownership's long-term vision versus short-term results. The INEOS-backed ownership group, led by Ratcliffe and sporting director David Brailsford, inherited a difficult situation. They've only been involved with the club for a few months, but their long-term plan is to stabilize the football operations and bring success back to Old Trafford. Neville reiterated that even with the new structure in place, they will need two or three years to turn things around. The club decided to keep Tin Hag in the summer, so they won't want to reverse that decision so early, Neville added. But they're hoping for a reset or some strategic planning over the next few weeks to salvage the season. Tin Hag acknowledges challenges, calls for improvement. Despite the pressure, Eric Tin Hag remains optimistic. Speaking after the match, Tin Hag admitted that Manchester United must step up and address their lack of attacking output if they want to turn things around. The Dutchman, however, maintained that he has the backing of the club's hierarchy. We know we're lacking goals, Tin Hag told reporters. It's not a good start by any means, but we have to improve in that area. To win games, we need to score more goals. Tin Hag emphasized that he, along with the United ownership, is focused on the long-term project at the club. We're all on the same page, he said. We know what we're working towards, and while it's a long-term process, we need to keep improving week by week. Upcoming fixtures crucial for Tin Hag's future. The coming weeks will be crucial for Manchester United as they aim to climb out of their current slump. With critical Premier League and Europa League matches ahead, United will need to find consistency if they hope to salvage their season. United's fixtures include a home match against Brentford, a Europa League clash with Fenerbahce, and a Premier League showdown with Chelsea. These games could very well determine whether Ten Hag remains in the manager's chair beyond November. Final thoughts. The pressure on Eric Ten Hag has been temporarily alleviated after the goalless draw at Villa Park, but Manchester United's struggles are far from over. The next few weeks will be pivotal as the team fights to save their season and keep their manager's job intact. Thank you for tuning in to Nairobi News Hub. I'm your host, Johnson Freeman, and it's been a pleasure breaking down the latest in the world of football with you. If you enjoyed the analysis, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on all our future content. Until next time, keep the passion for the game alive. Let's meet in the next video.